Hello, hello, all of my pandas and waffles. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. I'm recording my first ever YouTube original gaming video, so this will not appear on Twitch at any point. I just want to play this and post it to the channel to give you guys some original content. I've been wanting to visit this game since I last played The Sexy Brutal, which is a time traveling puzzler murder mystery kind of thing which you can actually check out the VOD on this channel as well. Well, this is a game I brought up multiple times during that stream, I think I did at least, called No One Has to Die. Now, this is a Flash game. I used to play this when I was a kid. I played it one time and don't really remember it that well, but I'm really excited to visit it again because I do remember we seen a very similar style of going back and trying to rescue the people and making those kinds of decisions. So I'm very excited to play this and see how that ends. Let's switch over and you should be able to see everything. There we go. Looking nice and dandy. I love it. I love it. So this is No One Has to Die. It's a little loud. I'm going to turn it down. This is No One Has to Die. And it's on Newgrounds. I think it's on a couple other websites. But this is how I used to play it. Without further ado, uh, basically, yeah, the plot. Four people are trapped in the building fire. You need my help to escape. A little text space. It probably won't even take that long. I think it might take like 10 minutes, but I figured I'd play it, so why not? Shall we begin? Ooh, these got very intense. The Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Tempest engage. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA, 3 hours, 17 minutes. That's terrible emergency response time. If there's a fire, no one is 3 hours. Visitor has logged onto the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Hello, is anyone there? I think this is us, the visitor. What the hell is going on here? Christina has logged onto the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. There's a fire! Everyone's evacuating the building! Oh, everybody back in the building. I can read. Steve has logged onto the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. How in the middle of fire does everyone have the time to, like, either get onto a computer or their phone and, like, message me like this? Like, there's a fire. Why aren't you running? Steve, why are you still here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working back late. Why do you care? Troy has logged on the Corporation Communication Network. And Lionel. Okay, so we're seeing Christina, Steve, Troy, and Lionel. This is the CEO of Phoenix Corporation, telling everybody in the facility to evacuate the building. Security staff report immediately. The security staff are dead. I found them lying dead in the control room. Then I saw a warning on this screen about a fire, so I logged in. What happened to them? I killed them. And I lit the fire. I'm sorry, what? Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? There's no time for this now. Visitor, if you're in the control room, they'll have to coordinate us escaping. You'll need one of the security codes. Security codes? The codes are FTS. What? Is this some kind of game to you? Security code confirmed. Security system online. Beginning scan. Floor B3. It worked! Now you may have a very difficult choice coming up, I'm afraid. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B3. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates, Troy and Steve. What does that mean? Our visitor is going to choose between keeping me or Steve alive. I trust this won't be a hard decision. Kill that asshole, I'm not dying for him. My job here is done, I'm ready to die. Fire's growing, visitor. You'll be led through how the system works. Yeah, I have a feeling Troy needs to die. Like, I'm gonna kill him now, and then they're gonna come back and be like, Oh, Troy's a good person! No, Troy's gonna die. Because his bitch ass just murdered people. Hurry up! Urgent. Please enter your security system orders immediately. Chat system has been locked until your decision is made. Water will come from here when the switch is on. Water puts on the fire, but also drowns people. Turn off the switch to stop it flowing. This fire will grow every turn. Fire cannot move through locked doors. Click a lock to lock it. You may only lock one. You can click switches while a person is standing next to them to turn them on or off. Click arrows to move people. Go one turn without the fire or water spreading to the rest. 
seems easy enough. Oh, oh, that was the... Oh, okay, this is the actual game. Um... Oh, no, don't... Oh, no, 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 we don't want to... Okay, I want to lock this door. I don't... No, we don't, actually. No, I want... I want Steve to live. You can die. She can go up there. You turn on the water. Um... Yeah, turn on the water, I guess. And then, how do I... Oh, she moved the next turn. Oh, Christina, get out of there! Okay, too many deaths. Simulation was starting. You're locking the door. You need to go here and turn on the water. You're gonna stay there for a minute. And you can perish. Next turn. Now you're gonna turn off the water. And then we move the next turn. And it's fine. Everyone live. Except, uh, Troy. Troy's dead. Fire's been contained, casualty Troy. That was tense for a bit, glad that's over. How could you talk like that when someone just died? He had this coming, he tried to kill us. Really? I'm pretty sure he just saved you. Not his best decision. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. So you two know each other? Yup, me and Steve had the misfortune of working together for the last few years. Tell me about it, Chris. Don't you wish you'd gotten to work in Troy's department instead? Shouldn't you be too looking for a way out? We're not old like you. We can walk and type, thank you very much. The main hallway is completely destroyed by fire. I can't get through. I'm having the same problem. I found a staircase up to the next floor, though. Oh, same here. There's one here, too. Shall we head up? I'm sorry, you're in the middle of a fire. What? That's why you don't head up? If you go up in a fire, you die. Sure, why not? Okay, let's all make terrible decisions. Heading up now and scanning B2. Wouldn't B2 be below B3? I mean, like, I know I can't count sometimes, but like... Our visitor's being very quiet. What's your story? Me? I don't work here. I was making delivery. Delivery? Let me guess. Tires? pop up books? No, stationary. Those were some strange guesses, though. What exactly do you do here? You know, that's a great question. What do we do here, Lionel? I know you got the message, Lionel. Forget it, I wasn't expecting the answer anyways. To be honest, no one really knows what the Phoenix Corporation actually does. The company buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk, and sells it all off for next to no profit. We are almost certain it's front. Then why do you work here? But it pays well, so we stay here. Well, that is sad. Well, Christina works here because nowhere else wants her, that's different. How about you shut up while I ask both? While I ask Lionel a serious question, I want to know about the cockatiels. Yeah, cockatiels. Oh, the cockatiel story. For nearly a year, we'd be getting, constantly getting in shipments of live cockatiels by the thousands. God knows how many birds they bought. But the cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. That's very weird. What's going on, Lionel? The try answering. We're buying cockatiels looking for a phoenix. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. They didn't even answer the question. Has anyone found anything interesting on the second floor? No. Nothing much here. Most of this building is reserved for storage. Shouldn't you guys all know your way around this building? Our access to the rooms here is very limited. That would be on your request, wouldn't it, Lionel? Truth be told, I rarely visit myself. I know what facilities this building contains, but I know very little about its layout. That's right, it's been the notices for a week that you were coming today. Was today something special? I was just dealing with some financial business. Nothing that could have encouraged person. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Calculations complete. One casualty unavoidable. Lionel or Steve. God damn it, not again. Either Lionel or Steve is gonna die. As the CEO of this corporation, I must request that you say, Don't you dare, please save Steve. I don't know why this fire was started, you can be sure Lionel was responsible in some way, but Steve's nothing wrong. It's great to hear you sticking up for me once, Chris, but our visitors already saved me once. It's their choice what they do this time around. Visitor, my life's in your hands. You make the right decision, save me. You will be well compensated. This isn't about money, you asshole. Shut up, both of you. It's getting hot in here. This is up to our visitor. Urgent. Please enter security code orders immediately. Chat system is locked. See, here's the thing, I was planning on killing Lionel anyways, because he kind of seems like an asshole. 
So I'm gonna lock this door. Then turn on this water. I'm gonna drown him and let speed load. That's my plan. And the fire's gonna start spreading. I'm gonna let Lionel burn. And just one more. Lionel drowns, we turn the water off, everyone lives. We did it! Fire's been contained, casualties Lionel. Good. Now who's being sensitive? That was the head of our company, Chris. And you chose me over him, visitor? Don't ask me to explain my choices. It makes me think, thinking about what I had to do. How do you think I feel? I didn't get a choice. What if I wanted to die to save Lionel? As if you would ever sacrifice yourself for anyone. And you would. No, but at least I'm upfront about it. Oh, I found a set of stairs. I'm gonna head on up. Again with the heading upstairs thing. How does that work for you when the fire keeps spreading upstairs? I'm already on the next floor. I just didn't bother saying anything about it. It's a great story. Scanning B1. You think we get paid overtime for the scrap? I don't know. Barely matters, though. Time and a half of what we make is still next to nothing. Maybe Troy set the fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts recently. God, do you have any clue? Wait until we get out of here before we start making jokes about the deceased. Hey, I could be right for all you know. That guy was whack. It wouldn't take much to set him off. No, just stop. I mean it. You know, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. Whoa, I'd forgotten too. That's awful. What can you find about one of them? About them? <coughs> I find them. I guess I should probably search them, huh? Really don't want to, though. Good luck. You must have a stronger stomach than me. Okay, I'll go look now. Back found a blue file in the hand of one of them. Really? What's it say? It's a security code. The one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you surprised, Chris? It would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he give us the code anyways? What did he get out of it? I don't get it either. Why shoot two people? Then set the building on fire, then try to play hero. It doesn't make sense. Why don't we ask him? Oh, oops. No, it's not funny. Hey, simple mistake. Chris. Chris. You sure managed to get yourself ignored a lot. Eh, I wasn't that fussed on talking to her anyways. You too. Calculations complete. One casualty unavoidable. No. Christina or Steve? No. No! Chris. I thought I was going to make it. There's only one more floor to ground level. Y'all said you were going up. You're going down. I'm not stupid. Getting out of here, Chris. There's no way I'm letting you die. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. You're not sacrificing yourself for me. Chris, you know I don't mean any of the shit I say, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. You don't need to die to prove that. Good. Then I'm ready. Steve, no. You don't deserve to die. Jesus Christ, that music got depressing. No one deserves to die, Chris. Especially not you. You're not going to ignore me now, are you? I just don't know what to say. How about goodbye? Whatever happens, this is the last time we'll ever talk to each other. This isn't how I wanted things to go. Do you think I want to die? You don't understand. I'm sorry, you two. If I don't do something now, you'll both die. It's alright. I'm ready now. It'll be like a barbecue. Shut up! You're not gonna die, is he, visitor? Our visitor knows what they're doing. They'll save you. Visitor, promise me you'll save him. Promise me. Oh god, who do I save? I can only save one of them. Okay, um, uh, I don't even know how to save her, actually. <laughs> We'd have to have Chris go to the switch, I suppose. He'd have, yeah, he'd have to turn the switch on to stop the fire from getting to her. And then turn the switch off. And then we can do the turns and he dies, yeah. And we just saved Christina. The fire's been contained. Casualties? Steve. No. I'm so sorry. No, it's not fair. Why would you save me? 
I had to listen to one of you. You don't understand. He never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, I did. Troy and Lionel and Steve. They all died because of me. Security guards too. Visitor, this is all my fault. I lit the fire. No, you didn't. Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't know what his deal is. Was. I set the fire, then I killed the guards before they could do anything about it. From the start, it was all me. Christina, you know it really wasn't you. It was Troy. If it was Troy, why was he trying to save us all? I don't know. No one does. This isn't how it's meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be nearly empty. Let's say you did it. What was your motive? I wanted to stop whatever was going on in this building forever, and I wanted to kill Lionel before he ruined anyone else's life too. <coughs> what did Lionel do? Him and his company. They killed my mother. What? My mother used to work at this company. She had the same name as me. She never told me much about what they did here. She always just said, experiments. Well, one day, she went to work and never came back. We ordered a search, but no one could find her. It was a week before we got a call from the Phoenix Corporation. They told us that they were so sorry, and that Mum had died in an experiment. Sorry my ass, they still wouldn't tell us what happened. And then, what they sent back her body... They sent back her body with her brain cut out. They cut out her brain so they could experiment on it. They killed my mother so they could look at her brain. Christina, I'm so sorry. I couldn't let them get away with doing anything like that ever again. So I started working here at the company. They knew who I was, but I think they gave me the job to shut me up. Since then, I spend God knows how long trying to figure out what they did to my mother, but I haven't gotten anywhere. When I read in the notices that Lionel was going to be visiting today, I knew I had to do something. But I thought I'd worked out the timing perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working overtime. And now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Nothing's going to help. I'll just keep moving through this building. And when I get out, I'll be arrested, and I'll finally get what I deserve. Okay. Alright, I'm on the ground floor now. <coughs> Scanning ground floor. To be honest, I still have no idea where I am. Most of the buildings off limits normally. We take elevators down to our workspaces on B floor B3, and we've never seen the rest of the building. Oh, they're going from basement up, I see. What a weird way to do things. It makes sense when you remember they're trying to hide the skeletons in their closet. Oh, there's a blue file on the desk in here. It looks like the one you found the security guard. Another one? What's the point of that? It has a different code on it. Maybe this would let you lock more do fire doors at a time. But if I'd had that earlier? I don't even want to think about this. I'm going to keep moving. No fire detected. Hold on a second. There's a big metal door I need to open. Alright. Okay, I'm through now. There's a sign here. It says Tempest Entry. What's that? No clue. There's a door here, though. It looks kind of strange. I'm gonna go through. Just tell me what you find. Christine is disconnected. Signal lost. What? No! We were so close. Why would it drop now? Christina! Christina, I'm coming to find you. Visitor is disconnected. <coughs> okay, that's the Christina. Now we need to figure out what the The mystery's not yet solved. We need to explore all possibilities to find the truth. Now we need to, essentially, kill off everybody else and see what's happening. Because this is the path that we just followed. <coughs> so we can also save Steve, then save Lionel, and then redo all this next game. So we're gonna go back in time. Fire's been contained, the casualty was Lionel. We can skip all this, we know what happened. We're gonna save Steve. And that door's locked already. And now we just let the turns progress. And she dies in the fire. Now he's gonna be pissed at me because I killed her. Fire's been contained. Casualties, Christina. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear it. If you were sorry, you would have listened to me. 
I had to make a decision. I don't expect you to be happy with what I've done. Just shut up! It's all a trick. This is a nightmare. You're still there, aren't you, Chris? Do you think of sending me a message? You're just ignoring me again, right? Steve, I understand this must be impossible for you right now, but you need to keep moving. And what the hell is the point of that? Christina just died for you. If you don't get out of here, she'll have died for nothing. Sure. I'm gonna get out of here, and it's gonna turn out this has all been some sick joke, and Chris will be waiting for me outside, alive. Denial is a powerful motivator. I mean, how do I even know it was Chris who was writing those messages, right? Okay, I'm ready. I'm heading up to ground level now. I can't wait to see her again. Scanning ground floor. Alright, just a little further. Oh, there's a desk here with one of those blue files that you're talking about. On top of it, it's another security code. Another one, but what for? I guess with this, you can control more fire doors at a time. Not a lot of use now. <coughs> Steve, are you still there? Steve. I knew it! I told you. Told me what? She's alive. Chris is alive. What? What's going on? No fire detected. So there was a file next to the one with the security code, and I saw it, I knew I had to read it. It was titled Phoenix Experiment. The one with the cockatiels. So let me explain. So I didn't get a lot of it, but here's what I understood. So Phoenix Corp had an experiment planned where they were going to buy lots of cockatiels and teach them to say a phrase. But every time they had enough birds to the experiment, they just randomly decide to increase their sample size. All in all, they bought around 6 million cockatiels. They stopped buying them the day... They stopped buying them the day something weird happened. That's the sentence. One of the cockatiels they bought already knew the phrase they were going to teach it. Weird, maybe whoever sold of them knew what was going on and tried to mess with the experiment. Let me finish. So they tagged this special cockatiel that already knew the phrase and taught it the phrase to all of the cockatiels. But the experiment didn't end there. They ran each and every one of the cockatiels through some kind of machine. It was worse than Chris had thought. They all died, all except one, the bird they marked. The one that already knew the phrase was fine. What? What sort of machine works like that? I have no idea. Paper talks very little about the machine itself. And what it does say, I don't understand. Bizarre. Why? How does this tell you Christina's alive? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now, so here's the thing. The phrase the birds were taught is Christina lives. Steve, are you sure you're feeling alright? I mean it. That's what it says. You can see for yourself when I show Chris. But even if it's true, we still have no idea what the phrase means. What do you mean? Christina lives. It means she's alive. But, we don't understand anything about the experiment. It could mean anything. Steve. Come on, you need to keep in contact. Sorry, no time to type. I've got to find the way out so I can find Chris. See you soon. No! Keep talking. Steve, come on. Steve is disconnected. Reason signal lost. Steve, what the hell have you done? I'm coming to find you. Visitor's disconnected. Okay. What the fuck? Mystery is definitely not solved. I feel more confused now. So Christina murdered the people because they were doing experiments on her mother. And one of the experiments that they were doing was trying to teach cockatiels phrases, but one of them back. So I have a feeling that there's some time travel shittery going on right now. But I'm not entirely sure. Let's save Lionel, I guess. <coughs> we have to save Lionel. Turn the power on. And then, does it matter if she lives afterwards? I don't know if it does. Okay, well now I can't save her. <coughs> but that's gonna kill him, so now... How do I save him now? Unless I can't save him. Yeah, there's too many deaths now. <coughs> so I can save Lionel... But let Chris. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, lock this door. Turn this on. <laughs> yeah, wait, what am I doing? Okay, hang on. No, because I need to let Lionel live and not her. 
Okay, so Steve needs to come out is what needs to happen. I lock this door. <laughs> Let's move a turn. I guess we can let Christina die. <coughs> yeah, no, that doesn't work. I'm confused. Okay, what do I need to do? <coughs> the water needs to flow. I need to lock this door because you need to live. And turn this on. Water needs to flow, but he needs to live. What if I don't lock the door? What if I just let him live two tracks? It's not possible. But then that kills her, so she can't turn the switch off. <coughs> that, yeah, so that's not right. So I just need Steve to live. So we're gonna turn that off, I'm gonna move you backwards. Now I'm gonna lock the door, and I'm gonna kill Steve. Too many deaths. Two of, okay, two of you have to live. How do we do this? We, there's a way to do this. <coughs> Turn you on. Great. Now move you backwards. <coughs> we have to turn the water off, otherwise he's going to drown. Plus we lock the door. So we move you up, I guess. But now the fire's gonna kill him. So how do we do this in a way that doesn't kill all of them? Christina and him have to live. That could work. <coughs> so Steve has to die, but Christina doesn't. Because Christina's the one who has to live. <coughs> then she turns the switch off, now he's infected. <coughs> downy, 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 <coughs> and he dies. <coughs> That's what we need to do. Now Lionel's lived. Fire's been contained, casually Steve. You've made the right decision, I'll make sure you won't regret it. I'm sorry, Christina. I could only save one of them. Christina? Okay, that's alright. I don't expect you to talk to me after what I've done. How are we gonna get out of here? If one of us not playing along. I'm sure she's still trying to get out of here. She has a lot to deal with at the moment. Well, either way, I found the stairs. Scanning B1. Christina, just so you know, I understand this must be awful for you. I'm really sorry. Don't beat yourself up. You did the right thing. <coughs> Activation complete. Two casualties unavoidable. Christine and Lionel. Two casualties unavoidable. No, that means we're both gonna die. It's over, we've reached our ends. No, you can't both die. There's no other option. I'm afraid this is it. Good, I'd rather die than live in a world with people like you two. Christina, Lionel, I'm sorry I let you guys down. It's alright, there's nothing you could have done. He could have saved Steve instead of you. Now's not the time to squabble. Goodbye, both of you. Just because you're about to die doesn't mean you're a saint. I hope you both burn in hell. Christina, don't do this. Don't waste your final moments like this. Give me one reason why I shouldn't. Please enter the security system code immediately. I can't save either of them. There's nothing I can do. They both are kind of late to have to die. The bad end. The mystery is not yet solved. We must explore all possibilities to find the truth. <sighs> what is happening? Okay, so I just have to murder both of them. And all that gave me was that they hate me because I like murder people. Let's so close that out real quick. That's all that gave me. That was not helpful. Okay, now we need to save Troy, who says he lit the fire. We get a bad ending there too. And then go down now. <coughs> we know how the end is. Troy is going to live. Lionel definitely lives. Kill Christina. <coughs> oh, I forgot to flip the switch. <laughs> uh, please flip the switch, thank you. Okay, well now Christina lives. Okay, so Christina will live, but Steve has to die. 
Oh, I just turned the water off. Ha 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 This game just died. Oops, today he's turned that off. No, I forgot to lock his door. There we go. Now that's what I'm supposed to do. Now Troy lives. I'm rushing is the problem. Lock, lock. Nope. Lock the door. Turn the water on. Start with that. Great. Turn the water off. Keep it going. Steve dies everyone must lose. <coughs> that's what we want. Should probably get mad at us again. Casualty Steve. Why? Why save me? My thoughts exactly. Why'd you let Steve to die? I could only save one of them and Troy Dune's beauty code. He's the reason I could save anyone. We need to know what else he knows. Ah, now we're thinking. I'm not gonna do anything to save anyone from here on in. Tell me now, how do you know the security code? Visitor, check the bodies and two security guards. Better not be a trick. Just do it. Fine. Well, that explains that. What'd you find? One of the guards holding a blue file with security code. Guard. One of the guards is holding a blue file with the security code Troy told us before. Written in it. They were. A blue file. Those contain security codes. Each one allows you to lock another fire. I found the code when I killed them. I thought I'd give you a fighting chance, so I told you the code. Welcome. Why did you do this? Instead of asking all these questions, why don't you look for a way out? The main room's completely blocked by rubble, is why? There should be a staircase in a room near both of them. Hmm, you're right, I had that now. See, this contradicts the Christina end, where she says she started all of this. So I want to know why he's saying he did this. Fine, me too. So, while we're here, Lionel, could you tell me what the hell is it that this company is set up to do? Don't waste your breath, he's not going to tell you anything. Well, maybe you'd like to explain then. There's nothing to explain. That's a lie, you know it. You both work here. Shouldn't you know what the company does? You'd think. The company mostly buys and sells things in bulk. But there's something dark going on underneath all that. Like what? Beginning scan, floor B2. Candidates, Christina Troy. Huh? Don't worry, just yet. Why would you say anything? Christina? That's a nice name. It's from others, correct? What? How could you know that? Answer me! Tell me right now! God damn it! Calculation is complete. One casualty unavoidable. Christina Troy. How could you know that? How could you know the code? How could you know that one of us is gonna die? I told you. I lit the fire. I'm behind all of this. I knew everything. No! That answer's not good enough. <coughs> could we do this later? There is no later! Tell me now! I'm not telling anyone anything, just let me die. I don't know who to let live and who to let die. I think the true ending is letting Troy live. So I'm going to kill him. <coughs> and then I'm going to let him live last. Because I want to go through all of the endings. <coughs> oh no, she's in a water too, so I can have to switch that off and kill him. And that'll go over all the doors, and everyone lives. Except Troy. Now Troy's dead. Fire's been contained, casualty Troy. Well, I guess he finally got what he wanted. Good. The man was manic. He cost my company millions already. And he killed four people. It'll be six you don't get out of here soon. Alright, alright, I found the stairs. Me too. Beginning to scan 4B1. I don't mean to be so callous before, it's just this will severely impact our operations. Don't you think that might have been the point? What do you mean by that? Troy probably wanted to stop Phoenix from doing whatever messed up things he do here. I suppose that makes sense. No, impossible. Our business here is strictly confidential. Does that sound like a slip of the tongue to you, visitor? Calculation complete. Two casualties unavoidable. Christina and Lionel. Two casualties unavoidable. No. So neither of us is gonna live. I'm afraid not. I guess that's fair, isn't it? What? Well, why would we deserve to live when Steve and Troy had to die? Because Troy was a murderer. And what about Steve? Well, either way, goodbye. 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 Well, hot damn, that was depressing. There's nothing we could have done to save either of them. Bad end. 
A mystery is not yet solved, and we must explore the last possibilities to find the truth. The other endings we have are Lionel and Troy, which means I have to kill Christina. <sighs> so, lock in Troy, he turns on the switch. Two pumps, Christina dies, and now Lionel is protected. I am sorry, Christina. Hopefully, we figure this out. And hopefully the game lives up to its name, and no one has to die. Fire's been contained, casualty Christina. Not again. You don't sound too happy for someone who's lucky to be alive. Visitor, tell me, what would it take to get you to kill me? You can't ask someone something like that. You're mad. I've killed all these people, of course I'm goddamn mad. Scanning floor B1, you're gonna have to choose between saving me or Lionel Sim. Promise me you'll save Lionel. How do you know that? It doesn't matter. All that matters is I'm a monster and I don't deserve to live. It does matter. Of course it matters. I want to know too. Tell me why you did this. It's not enough time. Beside you won't believe me. You'll never believe me until it's too late. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? Calculation complete. One casualty unavoidable on floor B1. Lionel or Troy. Doesn't matter, just save Lionel. I must concur, please spare me. Shut up, I wanna know what's going on. If I give you answers, will you let me die? If you're here, if you save me, I'll tell you things Troy doesn't know. I'll tell you what we really do here. Troy, tell me, then you can die. Okay, but I have to be quick. Truth is, I've been here before. What's that supposed to mean? <clears throat> okay, so he's probably gonna explain his time travel stuff. I literally don't understand how I would save Lionel. Oh, if I turn the water on, that puts up the fire. Then turn off the water. No, that kills both. Lock the door, turn the water on. Save Lionel. Turn the water off. Do it again. Lionel lives and Troy dies. Fire's been contained, casualty Troy. Ah, uh, excellent, you made the right decision. Not sure there was a right decision. Now you made a promise. Very well, a deal's a deal. What do you want to know? Scanning the ground floor. I want to know what Christina was talking about. What's going on in this company? Christina herself had no idea what we do here. She was right about one thing, though. Here at Phoenix Corp, we buy and sell large stocks of cheap products to keep the books looking busy. It's a front. Our true interest here is time travel. Called it, I probably subconsciously remembered that. Time travel. That is indeed what I said. And you expect me to believe that? I don't care what you believe, you ask for the truth, and here it is. Now, if you let me continue, we in fact have a fully functional time machine in this facility. The time machine we've constructed doesn't quite work like the ones you see in the movies. As in, it, no it does nothing, because time travel isn't real. If you're not going to listen, I don't see why you bothered saving me. No, our time travel doesn't affect physical objects. Well, that doesn't sound very useful. What can it do? No fire detector. It can carry a person's consciousness through time. Their consciousness. Their thoughts, their personalities, their likes, dislikes. Their experiences and their memories. One machine can carry those things through time. You know, I don't believe a word of us. It's your own loss. So I was to hop in this machine, go now in the future, what would actually happen? Your consciousness would leave your body, and effectively you would die. Die? At first. Then after an hour, your consciousness would re-enter your body, and you'd come back to life, not even realizing an hour has passed. That's impossible. We've done it successfully. People, birds, dogs, anything with a brain can travel in our machine. But what use is that sort of time travel? Your body would start to decompose and move forward more than a few hours. That is true. We're still experimenting with methods of preserving the body that allow the consciousness to later be entered. Currently, freezing seems promising. But this is not where our true interest lies. A person travels forward through time. They can visit distant eras and the like. But they can only live for 80 years their body dictates. But what if one was to travel backwards? You mean back to when they were younger? Exactly, they would retain their memories and experiences they gained over time, but they would have a younger body. Unless they were in an accident and died instantly, they could live forever. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. 
with our machine, no one has to die. That would be huge, but does it work? We believe so. And what does that mean? Our test is traveling forward and going exactly to plan. However, in our test, things don't quite work so well going backwards. What happened? A human test subject entered the machine, we activated it, her consciousness left her body, and unfortunately it never came back. She died. <sighs> That's terrible. <gasps> that was Christina's mother! What went wrong? We've dedicated every resource we have available to discover the cause of the problem. And you haven't worked it out. We think the machine may have worked. What? How can you say that when someone died? It's an incredibly complicated concept, but I'll explain it to you. First, though, you have to do something for me. I have entered the code to unlock the access rooms on the ground floor. I'm in the Tempest room. Meet me here. Why? Why can't you tell me now? Lionel disconnected. Signal lost. Lionel, where'd you go? Guess I have no choice. I'm coming to find you. Disconnected. <coughs> That's the Lionel thing. Okay. My line. So we have the Troy ending, and then presumably the true ending where no one has to die. I'm hoping. I'd like to save everyone. That makes people better roll themselves. Let's do the dead. Troy escalator. Lock in Troy, turn on the water. Everything spreads. And everyone dies. It's gonna take a bit longer because now the water's gotta put all the fire. A couple more turns, and there we go. Oh, I've turned the water off. There we go. Probably gonna end it that faster. Fire has been contained. Casualty Lionel. So this is how it goes. Is it? I don't know how much longer I can do this. What are you talking about? What were you saying before the chat cut out? And while we're at it, how do you know everything? And why do you like fire? There's nothing I can do now. I might as well tell you what I know. Scanning ground floor. First things first, the reason I like the fire. I didn't. What? That makes no sense. I don't know who really did it, though. I don't know who killed the security guards either. While we're at it, I have no idea what they do here at this company. You're full of crap. How'd you know all that stuff, then? How'd you know the security code? No fire detected. You're probably not gonna believe this. No. I know you're not gonna believe this. I knew the security code because I heard you read it out. You know that makes no sense. You told me before I ever read it. This time I did. This time? What the hell do you mean this time? I've been here before. I've been here five times before. The first time I was in my office doing work, and suddenly the fire alarms went off. I went in the chat to find out what was happening, and Lionel explained we'd need a security code to save anyone. We all scrambled, looking around for the roof files, before we finally found one. That's when I found the code out. Then you had to make decisions. Steve died, Christina died, Lionel died. I was the only one left. I had to keep going. I found a room called the Tempest Entrance. We went inside, there's a bright light. Suddenly, well you won't believe this bit, suddenly, I was back before the fire, sitting in my office. What? I don't know how, but I traveled through time. I was glad to hear you all alive, but none of you remember what happened. You all thought I was insane. But just like this time, because I knew the code, you thought I could save everyone. Once again, Steve died, then Christina, then Lionel. I go to the end, back to the Tempest Entrance, and it happened again. And again. And again. Five times it happened. That's a lot to take in. I'm not sure I believe you. If that's true, why'd you say you're the arsenal? Because <coughs> I just want to die. Five times now. I watched them all die so I can live. And for what? So I can go back and watch them die again. I want you to think I was evil. Who would save a murderer over an innocent life? Me, apparently. None of my plans to save the others have worked. Not one. I'm just tired. So, now what? I've checked everywhere. All the doors are locked, just like last time. I have no choice. I have to go back to the start. Wait! You don't have to. Fire's contained now. You wait there. Someone will come and find you. No. I can't let the loop end. I can't let the loop end until someone else survives. I've been through too much. I'm ready to die. Whoever makes it out of this building should want to live. But if you go back, what happens to me? What happens to this world once you go? I have no idea. 
Does that mean there are now five worlds out there in space or time or wherever? Where you've just disappeared and everyone else is dead? When you put it like that, I guess you're right. How is that possible? My guess is as good as yours. I'm outside the Tempest entrance now. This is it. I guess so. I'll see you again soon. Just, you won't see me. I still can't wrap my head around this all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Troy's disconnected, signal lost. Visitor disconnected. <coughs> the Troy end. The end is near. The final timeline is here. Okay. This is the final timeline. So what's going to be different? All personnel evacuate immediately. There's been a fire that's compromised security headquarters. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency service activated. Emergency service, uh, ETA, 3 hours, 17 minutes. Visitor logged on. Lionel, what the hell's going on here? I went into the Tempest room like you told me to. Now I'm back here in the control room. Wait. Christina's logged on to the communication network. What? How did I end up here? Steve logged on to the communication network. Chris, you're alive! I knew you were alive! Steve, I thought you were dead. Me? Troy logged on. You guys, you remember. You finally remember. Troy, this is all just some sick trick of yours, isn't it? No, I have no idea what's going on. You think I'm going to believe that if you lit this fire? I didn't light the fire. You don't get to change your story now. Steve, he's telling the truth. What do you mean? Lionel logged in. Amazing! I knew this would happen sometime, somewhere, but I never thought I'd be the one to witness it. You know what's going on here? Yes, but now there's a more pressing matter. Does anyone here have one of the security codes? I already told you mine last time. RFTS. But did anyone find any new ones? I found a blue file that said IRHH. I found one that said SOEE. -E. Perfect. Visitor, I confess that just before I cut out the last time I spoke, I found a file containing the code EMAS. Now quickly enter all the codes. Alright, alright. <coughs> Security code confirmed. Security system online. Scanning B3. Full access granted. Four codes received. Full access. You can now lock four doors at a time instead of one. Lionel, tell us what's going on. Why is everyone alive again? There's no way I would have enough time for that now. No casualties expected. No one has to die. Now we have security goods, we're all safe. Let's get out of here. <coughs> you go up here, turn this off. Lock. Lock. Water goes there. And we turn that off. No one dies. Great, I love it. Fantastic, we're all still alive. Great, but you owe us an explanation. How is everyone alive again? How did I end up back where the fire started? Why aren't these room fire damage anymore? Visitor, do you remember what I told you before? Yeah, you invented a time machine. Impossible. Well, it's a bit different from a time machine, I guess. It carries your thoughts and memories in time instead of your body. Correct, so far. It works going forward, but going backwards. Going backwards, you killed someone. They never returned their body. <coughs> that is the story, as I told you. That person you murdered was my mother, you asshole! What? Your mother died of a brain tumor. You told me so. That was a lie. Lionel killed my mother to test some impossible time travel bullshit. So I lit the fire, I lit to kill Lionel and wreck his corporation before they ruined more lives. Chris, I don't believe it. I suspected as much. Christina, your mother's not dead. What do you mean by that? I've seen her body. You took her brain. <laughs> okay, well, Christina's mom's alive, apparently. There's no point in sitting up the spring first because the fire's now for pain. Okay, so Christina's mom's not dead. Lionel answers. Your mother's not dead. That's gonna be hard to explain. When sent your mother back in time, she never returned to her body. However, there was not a single fault in our logic. The machine was designed perfectly. The machine is what's in the Tempest room, right? Correct. Anyways, we conducted many experiments and eventually came to one fascinating conclusion. When our subject traveled forward through time, the future was not set, and so time would bend to accommodate the time travel. That is, the consciousness traveling through time would remain in some timeline. When traveling backwards, things are not so simple. The consciousness would become lost in that mess that is time space. It would find a host, one which owned the consciousness. 
and one which existed at the time it had been sent back to. But it would not always find its host in its own universe. You've lost me. Our research has suggested a nearly infinite amount of universes, each nearly identical, with one minute differences, with only minute differences between them. So when Christina's mother traveled backwards through time, she was not alone. Trillions of her, maybe even more, traveled too. They would land randomly into different timelines. Some would land the same timeline, and one consciousness would override the other. In some timelines, no one would ever know that Christina's mother even left, or that the consciousness of returned to body wasn't from their universe. Very rare few consciousness would land back where they began their own universe. Many timelines were left like here, in this universe where Christina's mother's consciousness left this world, but no other consciousness returned to fill her body. Because of this, the body remained empty, and Christina's mother was effectively dead. But her consciousness lives on in another time in another universe. I'm not buying a word of this. No casualties expected. But it explains everything. This is why we keep ha everything kept happening over and over again. That's why we're all here. Yes, it took me a while to figure it out. We've all been brought here by the Tempest Machine. Visitor, you remember a time in which you let each of us die apart from myself, correct? Yeah, then you gave me access to the Tempest Room. Well, each of these people remembers a different reality. Ones where they were the only survivor of the fight. That's right. I had to wait and do nothing while Chris died. I had to wait and do nothing while all of you died, time and time again. At the end of each of these realities, the survivor emptied the Tempest Machine which had its clock set at the beginning of this disaster as a security measure. When each of us entered the machine, we were randomly shot into another universe. Some of us would have ended back up where we started, and no one else would remember what had just taken place. But there would be a few universes like this, or by chance, all five of us from different universes came into one. And that is how we're all here together now, with memories of different futures. Whoa. Okay, this is, like, it makes sense, but it's still boggling. But the chance of that happening would be practically zero. Actually, with as many universes as there are, it's incredibly likely. There are probably hundreds of universes in which the same thing has happened as is happening here. Nothing about this seems incredibly likely, but it's the truth. Please enter security orders immediately. Chat says we do not. Okay, let's save everybody. I'm locking Ooh, wait, yeah, locking you two in. <coughs> you move over that door's locked. Uh, let's lock these doors to be okay. I can only lock four doors. Now turn the water off. Fire will fill that room when everyone else is safe. And no one had to die. <laughs> Fire's been contained. Hey you guys, all your paths meet up here, right? They do. I suppose they must. Scanning ground floor. Soon we'll be able to talk in person. No fire detected. I can't wait to see you again, Chris. I'm so glad you're safe. I can't either, Steve. I can't believe you're alive. You're both alive. Well, hurry up then. I'm already there. Okay, coming through now. I can see you. I'm in. Me too. Hey, has anyone locked the door for me so I can come down too? Hello? Anyone? Guys, stop talking in person for a second. Look at your messages, damn it. Typical. Now what do I do? Visitor? Christina! Can you ask Lionel to open the door for me? No. Sorry, I don't think I'll have the chance to. Is something wrong? Where are you? I stepped out for a moment. I'm at the Tempest entrance. I haven't been entirely upfront with all of you. What do you mean? I've been here before. Weren't you listening to Lionel? We've all been here before. No, I've been here before. To a timeline just like this one, where we all managed to survive. Except things went a little differently that time. For instance, I asked Lionel where the controls for the Tempest machine were, he told me that on B2, in my section of the building. Later he explained the machine can't send consciousness back before the first time it was turned on, which was when my mother was sent back through time. So, I thought I'd give things another try, and I hopped back from the Tempest machine. Don't tell me. This time while we were on B2, I sent the time machine back as far as it could go the moment I lost my mother. I'm going back. I'm going back three years to find my mother. This is crazy. What if you end up in another universe where she disappeared? Then I'll break into here. I'll travel again. What about the people who care about you in this universe? What about Steve? You should know better than anyone what this feels like. You've had to choose one person's happiness over the other, time and time again. 
In this timeline you came from, you even chose to kill me. I wish I could have Steve and my mother both at once, but I don't have that choice. I've spent too long wishing she was with me to turn back now. Besides, in this world I'm a murderer, an arsonist. There's no place for me here. Christina, you're not going to stop me, are you? No. No, I'm not. Tell Steve I'm sorry and that I love him. Tell him that I hope we meet again somewhere, sometime. But for now, goodbye. Goodbye, and good luck. Thanks, I think I'll need it. Christina's disconnected, signal lost, visitor disconnected. End. That is not how I remember this game ending. That was an emotional roller coaster that I was not prepared for. And I don't... The storytelling on this was amazing. I love this. I... <sighs> I'm very happy I played this again. I'm very proud I played this. Like I said, if you want to play this yourself, type in No One Has to Die. It's on Newgrounds.com. That was a lot to process. And I just... I was not prepared for that. But that was No One Has to Die. Like I said, if you've seen the sexy brutal, it's very similar to that. It's essentially the same thing. Lots of time travel, lots of weird bullshittery. But we saved everybody. No one had to die. Eventually, we did get to save everyone in the end. Maybe you hated some of my decisions and you thought I should have killed someone faster. Let me know in the comments below if you would have done something differently or what you guys want to see next on the channel. Thank you all for stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Until the next time. Bye-bye!